Hey guys, and welcome to Day Glue. So this is probably my like eighth attempt to try and make this video. So we're gonna <laughs> just get into it. So I've been having a lot of problems with the test live patch for Conan Exiles on top of everything else because it's just been weird. I, I know you might not have an issue when it comes to it, but I've been having a lot of weird frame drops. So I opened up the task manager on top of a few other things. First of all, I thought it was a driver issue. And it, the first iterations were true because apparently NVIDIA wanted to uninstall itself. But like the, the whole GeForce experience now thing or whatever, but not like the drivers in themselves, but because the GeForce experience now like got away from my setup, I was randomly getting like down to five FPS with like a 1080 Ti in different areas. So I reinstalled everything, put fresh drivers on, and then I noticed between the stable version and then the test live server clients is that there is a lot of issues with GPU utilization. So normally what it would do in a completely optimized game is that it would use 99% of your GPU utilization for everything across the board. So I've already known that Conan Exiles does not have the best utilization when it comes to it. So it, it normally averages between 70 to 80 percentile utilization of my 1080 Ti. So when I jumped onto the test server client, initially at first, I was doing around that. But then after I died inside the new dungeon, and if you guys want to see the new dungeon, Firespark81, he's really good at explaining some things, even though sometimes he might not like the state of Conan Exiles and other things else. I mean, we both said it in the past, but if you want to see his stuff, there's a video right there that'll be in the description. So, with that said, going on to test live right now in the, its current state can sometimes have utilization going down to like peaks of 23% all the way up to 54% after like a death or two, especially if you be on like a server for a while or something like that. It's it's not really super playable when it comes to like an overall experience, especially if you love to have your FPS and like you like to see a good amount of graphical fidelity and you're playing at 1440p or higher and you're trying to really push like your utilization of the game. It's not really like the best optimal for what it is in when it comes to Conan Exiles. So as to that, I do have to say that the new weapons are good, that everything that I've experienced when it comes to a new farming technique for something where it, it it's equivalent and it's okay in different instances to what you can do. Would I personally use the new dungeon as a farm route? No. Is it something for you to experience because it might be hard for you? Yes. Especially if you're a pve -er and you like to experience something new, this is a great take when it comes to it. But at the same time, here's the thing. This should have been a while ago, all the animations and everything else, because of the amount of stuff that they've added, compilated, putting everything together when it comes to Conan Exiles and everything else. Like, honestly, if this game, if the game came out like it is now on Test Live, like, except for the GPU uh, optimization was at least to their, like, stable standard, which is 70 to 80% utilization. This is probably also why on PS4 and Xbox they have a hard time because they're not having 100% utilization of their hardware when it comes to the engine that they use, the Unreal Engine 4, with, like, making sure everything else is configured properly. So I jumped into this because, again, I like reviewing games that are like I like and I have fun with when it comes to that. Same thing with Fallout 76, but Fallout 76 is another topic. I, I wish that there was better PvP stuff, but there's not. So again, I like covering into Conan Exiles because it's one of my games that I really do love, especially in the PvP scene, even though I do not have a lot of time to cover it as of lately with most of the other games that could be coming out but I mean it's been a game desert 
currently at this current moment and i'm just like uh wait what's next that, that i'm gonna be covering like battleground stuff yeah I, I tried that i mean it's just a sea and a valley of doing the insanity of the same thing different results but that's why i like to go back to my games that i do love like conan exile so another thing that i do want to look forward to in conan exiles before like the next open world survival game that funcom actually like releases to us to know about probably around 2020 maybe 2021 will have some form of announcement of their next open world survival game once their updates that are coming forth in conan exiles will come to a close because again they still need to make money as a company at the end of the day so i mean personally for what i see it's really good i mean besides the gp utilization uh, everything else is pretty good when it comes to a solid base game. Uh, server stability is around the same. Uh, they still have yet to find out how to get away from a heavily used single th core thread utilization for what they've been having because they are saying that it is a server limitation and a engine limitation. When it, it's not really because, I mean, Fortnite has it where they are the engine creators and they are doing just fine with doing it on AWS. It is a mixture between G portal and also like their lack of knowledge when it comes to server stability in this regard. And again, as another status update that this shows, especially with GPU utilization going all the way down to 23 percentile in certain parts after death and staying there until you relaunch the clients on Conan Exiles. So again, I really love the game. Again, I just don't know what to do next. I'll probably do like for everybody that's new inside Conan Exiles, like a uh, base building strategy to like have a bunker buster or like PVP tips or stuff like that because I think some of that is really outdated especially because of new animations cancels and what a player can do and achieve especially because jumping animations different falling animations different there's a few other things that can be really entitled into that so if you guys like this kind of stuff please leave a like leave a comment down below if you really like my stuff join my discord if you like fallout 76 or something like that also the discord and if you really like my stuff and it's optional just like i always say there's a patreon down below have a good one guys